Are you ready, hands? Somebody wave your hands and bless his name tonight. Appreciate him. Thank him. Thank him for his faithfulness. Ah, somebody, are you waving your hands? Are you blessing him? Are you glorifying him? Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Bless his holy name. Father, I thank you for giving me the grace to carry through today's fasting. Lord, I give you praise. Are you thanking him? This is the third day in the seven days journey. Appreciate him. Glorify him, somebody. Thank him. For the Lord is good. For his mercies endure it forever. Daddy, we give you praise. Lord, we thank you. Somebody thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Let your heart sing that song unto him. Let your heart sing that song unto him. Ah, Father, we bless your name. Lord, we thank you. Because you are good in every situation. You are good to us in every situation. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you honor. Daddy, we appreciate you. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him for every member of your family. Thank him for your son, your daughter, your wife, your husband, your father, your mother. Thank him. Thank him for every one of our brethren. Yes. That is partaking of this miracle. It is a miracle already. It is a miracle already. Father, we give you praise. We give you all the honor, Daddy. Be exalted, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Father, I have come tonight to seek for your mercy. I have come seeking for your mercy. Father, let mercy find me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray the prayer, somebody. Pray that prayer. Father, I have come seeking for your mercy. Father, let mercy find me in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you praying that prayer? Are you praying that prayer? Father, let your mercy find me tonight. Hey, Daddy, let your mercy find me in the mighty name of Jesus. Among the multitude tonight. Among the multitude tonight. Father, let mercy seek me out in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, among the multitude tonight, Father, let mercy seek me out in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody. Pray, somebody. Father, let your mercy seek me out in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your mercy seek my family out in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody. Pray, Father, let your mercy seek me out in the mighty name of Jesus. In every one of my ways, in everything that I will do, Father, let your mercy seek me out in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Tell your neighbor to sit down. God bless you. Brethren, the book of Matthew, chapter number 9. We started in the morning with understanding mercy. Understand the mercy. Yes, the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. We have read the book of Psalm number 57. We have read Romans chapter 9, verse 15 and 16. Those of us that were not here in the morning and the afternoon, I'm sure you partook, you partook in the YouTube channel and the Facebook page. The Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Matthew chapter number 9. It's rather long. There are 29 verses. Because, because as I told you, we are going to look at what mercy is. And that means we are looking at understanding mercy. Yes. The Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. And he entered into a ship and passed over and came into his own city. And behold, they brought him to him a man sick of palsy, lying on a bed. And Jesus 
seeing their faith. Jesus, seeing their faith. Jesus, seeing their faith. Look at me, brethren. Jesus saw their faith. Has he not seen your faith too? Huh? You've been coming here since Sunday. The Lord will see my own faith too. I say the Lord will see my own faith too. In the mighty name of Jesus. You see, the, the currency that is spent in heaven for the exchange of anything is just one. Faith. That's just a currency. Because the book of Hebrews, chapter number 11, verse 6. Hebrews 11, 6 says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. For whoever will come to him must have two qualities. One, must believe that he is. And then two, must also believe that God is a rewarder of they that diligently seek him. Father, I have come seeking you tonight. As I seek you in this journey, Father, let me find you in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you praying that prayer, somebody? Father, let me find you in the mighty name of Jesus. As I seek you, Daddy, Father, let me find you in the mighty name of Jesus. Arise, O Lord. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your mercy seek me out in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your mercy seek me out in the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy, let your mercy seek me out in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, arise, O Lord. Let your mercy seek me out in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. A man sick of palsy, lying on a bed. And Jesus, seeing their faith, said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, be of good cheer. I don't know the challenge that anyone is carrying around. But this is you that Jesus is addressing. Say, but pastor, I don't have palsy. Oh. It's not my portion in Jesus' name. Oh. Yes. You have a challenge. This man's own was palsy. Your own is your own that brought you. So, to Jesus, the two of you are the same. So, this is his word for you. Son, you can put daughter there if you are a woman. Be of good cheer. Thy sins be forgiven thee. The man was sick. Jesus did not say you are healed. Jesus said your sins are forgiven. Now, now look at it. Verse 3. And, and behold, certain of the scribes said within themselves. They didn't speak it out. They said it within themselves. But Jesus had what they said. Sir, those things you are thinking inside you. Jesus is hearing you. This challenge. Jesus is hearing. Those secret cries that you cannot tell somebody so that they will not mock you. Jesus hears you. And today he will show you mercy. I say today he will show you mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. They said within themselves, this man blasphemeth. And Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, look at it, they said inside themselves, Jesus spoke it out. <laughs> he interpreted their thoughts. And he told them, 
There is no secret before our God. Nothing is hidden before him. Nothing. Even that challenge. You know there are some challenges. There are some, people, some people are too, it's too shameful for them to even pray about it. So, how can I go to God and say I did this? God knows already. He knows already. Somebody, you will receive mercy tonight. I said you will receive mercy tonight. Jump to your feet. Shout, Father. It is your mercy that I have come to seek today. Father, let mercy locate me in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody. Pray, somebody. It is your mercy that I have come to seek today. Father, let your mercy find me in the mighty name of Jesus. In this situation where I have brought myself, in this situation where I have brought myself, in this situation where I find myself, Father, let your mercy seek me out in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your mercy seek me out in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, let your mercy seek me out. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Sit down. And Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Wherefore think ye evil in your heart? They were thinking it in their heart. Jesus said, Why are you thinking evil in your heart? For whither is easier to say, Thy sins become forgiven. Which one is easier for me to say? Say, Your sin is forgiven? Or? Arise and walk. Of course. Arise and walk is easier. But there is a reason. There is a reason. There is a reason. The reason why you are here tonight is because God wants to take glory over that situation in your life. And he will manifest himself in your life tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. I say we manifest himself in your life tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. So, for whither it's easier to say, Thy sin be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise and walk. But the reason why I said so, that's what Jesus says. But that ye may know that the Son of Man had power on earth. To forgive sins is very deep. It's a Bible study topic on earth to forgive sin. So long as he was here, he said, Every sin you bring to him, he will forgive you. That was what he told them. Son of man had power on earth to forgive sin. Then said he to the sick of palsy, Arise, take up thy bed, and go into thine house. Stand to your feet. Father, hey, hey, Father, in this situation in my life, visit me and take the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray the prayer. In this situation where I find myself, yes, visit me and take the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, let the glory return to you. Visit me and take the glory, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, Father, visit me and take the glory. Ah, Daddy, visit me and take the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, visit me and take the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit me tonight. Let there be a turn around in my life. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed, Father, whatever is in my life that is not glorifying you, everything in my life that is reproaching your name, Father, let it be removed in your mercy tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray. Somebody pray. Ah, as you visit my life tonight, Father, as you visit me in your mercy, whatever does not glorify you, 
Father, let it be removed in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray the prayer. 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 Father, let it be removed in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody. Pray, somebody. Pray, somebody. Pray. Father, let it be removed in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. When things in your life does not glorify God, that thing is reproaching the name of God in your life. And God hates such reproach. The only thing that can make that thing to legal in your life is disobedience. Father, show me mercy tonight. Father, show me mercy tonight. Whatever requires correction in my life, whatever requires correction in my life, so that your name will not be reproached, Father, let that correction come in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, as I go in this seven days journey, everything needing correction in my life, everything needing correction in my life, Father, do it tonight. In your mercy, Father, do it tonight. In your mercy, Father, do it tonight. And take all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Destroy this reproach out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Destroy this reproach, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let my life connect with your mercy. Ah, Father, let my life connect with your mercy. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Sit down, God bless you. And he arose and departed to his house. And but the multitude saw it. But when the multitude saw it, they marveled and glorified God, which had given such power unto men. God is interested in this glory. Just look at it. How beautiful your testimony will be to the name of our God. God is waiting for that testimony. Yo, oh, oh. You think you are the only one who loves to testify? No, you are not. God is also waiting to hear that testimony. So that because what do you do when you come here? You give testimony. See, now you first of all say, Praise the Lord. And say, The Lord did this for me. God did this for me. Is that not so? That is what God is waiting for. Father, glory is waiting for you in my life. Hey, Father, glory is waiting for you in my life. Your praise is waiting for you in my life. Father, in this seven days journey, Father, visit my life and take the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody. Pray as I go in this seven days journey. Father, visit my life and take the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy, visit my life and take the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, arise, O oh Lord. Let your mercy locate me tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Arise, Daddy. Let your mercy locate me in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, Daddy, let your mercy locate me tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Arise, Daddy. Let your mercy locate me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your mercy locate me. Father, let your mercy locate me. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Sit down, God bless you. If you look at the story in this Matthew chapter 9, Jesus was just going about showing people mercy, even those who don't deserve it. In verse 9, and Jesus, and as Jesus passed forth from thence. He saw a man named Matthew. For Jesus, he should have just passed by this kind of a man. He's not supposed to even notice him. Matthew was just like me. 
In fact, I am even worse than him anyway. But Jesus sought me out. Somebody who will find you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, are you saying amen? I say he will find you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus passed from thence. And he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the receipt of the custom. And he's, you see, the kind of profession that this man was doing, it takes a crook to be doing this kind of a thing. Because it is easy to cut corners. It's easy to do so many wrong things. So a Jesus being holy should not have noticed a Matthew. Father, among the multitude tonight, bow your head and pray. Among the multitude tonight, Father, see me. Father, see me. I am here crying for your mercy. Father, see me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, see me, O oh Lord. Look at me. I am here. You are the one that said we should come. I have come at your word. Father, I have come at your word. Let mercy seek me out in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, let your mercy seek me out in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your mercy seek me out in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your mercy seek me out, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Father, inside this dungeon, where I have found myself, let your mercy seek me out in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody pray that prayer. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Father, let your mercy seek me out in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your mercy seek me out in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your mercy seek me out, Daddy. Tonight, tonight, tonight. Father, let your mercy seek me out. In Jesus' mighty name we have praised. And he said unto him, Stand up. And he said unto him, Look at it. Follow me. Is that not so? And, and the guy, you know, he will have gathered money, money. He did not wait. He followed him. Somebody, are you marching around? Follow him. Father, I have come following you. As I follow you in this seven days journey, Father, let your mercy locate me in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody, pray, pray, pray. As I follow you in this seven days journey, you have space all over here. Yes. Father, let your mercy locate me in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Ah, as I journey in this seven days journey, Father, let mercy seek me out in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I, I come at your word. I have come at your word. Father, let your mercy seek me out in the mighty name of Jesus. Arise, Daddy. Let your mercy seek me out in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your mercy seek me out in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Hear me. I didn't say you should sit down. The Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. You see, the more you follow Jesus, the more you become like Jesus. Is that not so? In the life of many of us Christians, we see Jesus only on the cross. Yes. We don't see him resurrected in the life of many Christians. And there is a difference in between the two. The one that was on the cross 
was the one that was paying for sin. The one that has resurrected is the ones that are paid. He has already paid. So there are two different Jesuses. So as I follow you from today, the power over limitations, power over sicknesses, power over lack, march around, march around. Ah, Father, I connect with it in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Power over any kind of limitation. Power over business failure. Power over marriage failure. Power over... Begin to tell him everything you want in his, your life. Yes, I connect with it in the mighty name of Jesus. I connect with that power in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray somebody. Pray somebody. Pray somebody. Pray. Make those declarations now. Make those declarations now in the mighty name of Jesus. As I follow you, Daddy, in this seven days journey, give me power over every kind of limitation in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody. Pray, somebody. Pray. Father, release it to me in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed, Father. As I march in this seven days journey, Father, let your mercy speak for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, set me apart for your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you praying that prayer? Are you praying that prayer? Father, set me apart for your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, set me apart, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Set me apart, O oh Lord, for your mercy. In every aspect of my life, in every aspect of my life, Father, set me apart for your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. In everything that I do, Father, let mercy speak for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Let mercy speak for me, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you praying that prayer? 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 Father, let mercy speak for me, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. When I was teaching in the three o'clock prayer, I was talking about the candidate of mercy. Candidate of mercy. See, that is who I am. Yes, and that is whom you are from now. Uh -uh. <laughs> that is whom you are from now, in the mighty name of Jesus. I say it again, that is whom you are from now. And I say it again, that is whom you are from now, in the mighty name of the Father. Make me a candidate of your mercy, in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, Father, make me a candidate of your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, make me a candidate of your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Make me a candidate of your mercy, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. I have come because you said I should come. Daddy, I have come because you said I should come. Make me a candidate of your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, pray somebody, pray somebody. Pray, Father, make me a candidate of your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. So that mercy will speak for me everywhere. Mercy will speak for me every time. Mercy will speak for me in all my ways. Father, make me a candidate of your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Make me a candidate of your mercy. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. When you become a candidate of mercy... Hey, when you become a candidate of God's mercy, sir, <laughs> you will just notice that beautiful things, they happen naturally to you. That is one. Everyone that connects with you, beautiful things will happen to them also. And uh, Whoever now walk against you, well, Nahisabi, because 
he has shot himself in the leg. Somebody, Father, make me candidate of your mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody. Father, make me candidate of your mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, somebody is not marching around. Father. Father. Everywhere I go from today. Let me connect with your mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody. Pray, somebody. Pray. Father, everywhere I go from today. Everywhere I go from today. Father, let me connect with your mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let me connect with your mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody. Pray, somebody. Pray. Pray. Everywhere I go from today. Father, let me connect with your mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. When people tell me things, eh, that contract, eh, they said, the governor said that he has a younger brother who can do the contract. So that is the person they gave it to. I just keep quiet. She is the governor that said. And me, I have not said it. Ah. And I say as a representative of my God. Sir. And they will say, the governor has changed his mind. And they say, yes, sir. Somebody, you will connect mercy everywhere. Ah, I say you will connect mercy everywhere. I say you will connect mercy everywhere. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father. Ah, Father. In throughout the journey of my life. Make me candidate of your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody, throughout the journey of my life, throughout the journey of my life, Father, make me candidate of your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, Father, make me candidate of your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody. Pray, somebody. Pray, somebody. Father, make me candidate of your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Make me a candidate of your mercy, O oh Lord. In everything that I will do, in everything I will lay my hands upon, Father, make me a candidate of your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody. Pray, somebody. Pray, somebody. Pray, Father, make me a candidate of your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And you see, when people now walk against you from today, you will see that they have actually walked against themselves. That's it. That is why when people walk against me, I leave them. Because I know Huh? That's the truth. You see, it's not that I prayed against anybody. It's that they are working against mercy. If you work against mercy, how will you now receive the mercy? How? Whoever works against you, they are working against me. And they are not just working against me. They are working against he that sent me. And he that sent me, bring them down. In the mighty name of Jesus. I say they will serve you. Father. Ah, Father. Make me candidate of your mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray. Somebody pray. 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 Father tonight. Make me a candidate of your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you praying that prayer? Are you praying that prayer? Father, make me a candidate of your mercy, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Throughout my life, Father, make me a candidate of your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, Daddy, make me a candidate of your mercy, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Make me candidate of your mercy from tonight. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. From today, when people walk against you, they're looking at them. See, when God is fighting for you, eh? if you go and pinch the person, God leave you and him. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Let me tell you this funny story. Somebody stole a woman's ram. I've told you the story before. That woman, a child of God, that person had eaten the ram. They have shared it. But the major thief that took the ram, that took the ram, from the day the woman prayed, the Lord told her, keep quiet. And she went out. Instead of keeping quiet, whoever stole my ram, hey, I give you seven days. Return the ram if you love yourself. You know what happened? The guy could not come out again. Yeah. Ram's ear was growing on his body. You know, it was a black and white ram. That was how the man was growing black and white. Exactly like that ram. And the woman moved about the following day. Hey, hey. The air was increasing. The guy was pulling it out. And the air was multiplying astronomically. You understand? The, the more he tried to shave, the more, the more air grew. Sir. By the fourth day, the woman was praying. She was also warning. She saw that God did not answer her <laughs> on the fourth day. <laughs> the ram did not return. But she didn't know that the guy that was hiding was hiding because if he comes out, he will have become, he will have become a ram. See? <laughs> Sir, by the fifth day, she could not bear it anymore. She started cursing seriously. She started cursing seriously. As she was cursing, the air began to disappear. Until the seventh day, the guy's skin was as neat, as beautiful as that of a newborn baby. The guy came out. If you are a candidate of God's mercy, the battle is not yours. Let God handle it. He did a bad thing to you. She insulted you. She did this to you. Relax. Let God handle it. Did you hear that? Once you go and give that person a knock, or you pinch him. You tell him, Who, what do you even take yourself for? You will see what God will do for you. You, are, you go suffer, eh? Now so angel go carry fan, begin blow the guy. The guy go to cool down. <laughs> you where you can the you where the vibrate. You go on the vibrate like you know this Lister machine. Learn. Tell your neighbor, learn. When God is fighting for you. Don't fight for yourself. Father. 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 Make me candidate of your mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Hey, Father, make me candidate of your mercy, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In everything that I do. In whatever I lay my hands upon, Father, make me candidate of your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you praying that prayer? Are you praying that prayer? Are you praying that prayer? 
So that mercy will speak for me everywhere. So that mercy will speak for me everywhere I go. So that everywhere my name come up for mentioning. Mercy will answer. Father, make me a candidate of your mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, make me a candidate of your mercy. Oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray somebody. Pray somebody. Pray somebody. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. We will stop in verse 10 for today. For this uh, evening. Then I will now show you 10 things that mercy does. We may not be able to do all the 10. We've done 3 in the afternoon. We we'll continue today. This evening. And it came to pass. As Jesus sat at meat in the house, behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. This is where we are closing. We we'll continue from this same place during the vigil. See, Jesus called Matthew a bad guy. As he with Matthew were going home, all the bad guys, they, see, they looked at the two of them. See, hey, boy, hey, boy, hey, boy, come. Hey, see that prophet? No, be Matthew, they follow us, oh. And <laughs> they, call, they call him. Hey, boy, Matthew, hey, boy, Matthew. Matthew did like this thumb up at the back. <laughs> he was following Jesus. He now showed them the Tom Bob sign at the back. He said, Omo, oh yeah. <laughs> Everybody ran after them. So, that is, I was among them. Me. I don't know about you. Me, I was among them. See, I have come guilty as charged. Yes. I am a sinner. I am bad. Yes. But I have all I am asking for is your mercy. Father, let your mercy speak for me. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Father, let your mercy speak for me in the mighty name of Jesus. I am a sinner. Above every sinner on earth, I am a sinner. Father, I am ungrateful. Above the most ungrateful, I am ungrateful. Yes, I am disobedient. Above the most disobedient. You want to kneel down, kneel down. You want to sit, sit. You want to stand, stand. Whichever way you want to talk to him. Yes, I am a sinner. Above every sinner. Yes, yes. I am unworthy of you, daddy. I am even not, I'm not, even, not even worthy of mercy. But I have come tonight, daddy. I have no excuse. I have no excuse. I have no excuse. I have no excuse. All I am pleading for is your mercy. Hey, Father, let mercy speak for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, Daddy, let mercy speak, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In everything that pertains to my life. Hey, Father, in everything that pertains to my life. Father, let mercy speak in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Father, let mercy speak. Oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed, Father. In every accusation over my life. Hey, Father. In every accusation over my life. Father, let your mercy speak. In the mighty name of Jesus. Are you praying that prayer? Are you praying that prayer? Father, let your mercy speak for me. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. We'll continue from that verse 10. Sit down, God bless you. We looked at 10 things that mercy does. Yes. We said number one, mercy speaks. Number two, mercy is the opposite of judgment. Wherever judgment stands, in the life of anybody, just know that mercy has run away. If you see evil multiplying, 
Challenges multiplying. Disaster multiplying. Affliction multiplying. In the life of anyone. It is mercy that left that life. Mercy will not leave my life in Jesus' name. Father, let your mercy not depart from me. Hey, Father, Father, let your mercy not depart from me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your mercy not depart, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Number three, mercy is superior to judgment. Yes. Number four, mercy silences accusations. Yes. Mercy silence accusations. Just picture the devil telling God, that, ah, don't listen to this person. Oh, he is this, he is that, he did this, he did that. And God say, I know. Leave him. <laughs> so, if, you, if you went to report somebody, thinking maybe in your office, thinking the, the, the MD, the MD will sack him. You not get there to report. MD, do you know that? This person did this and did that and did that. Say yes, I know. Leave him. Sir. In your going out of that MD's office, you will miss the way to the door. <laughs> Is that not so? Because mercy has spoken for that person. Somebody, mercy will speak for you. Uh -uh. I say mercy will speak for you. Mercy will speak for you. Father, let mercy speak for me from tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let mercy speak for me, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let mercy speak for me in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Number five. Mercy cover disqualifications. Yes, it covers. Say, the man is not worthy. The man is not qualified. The woman is not qualified. Say yes. I don't need that qualification. <laughs> Let him just enter. Somebody, mercy will speak for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Uh -uh. I see mercy will speak for me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Since you are not saying amen, mercy will speak for me. Okay, you are saying amen now. Mercy will speak for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in everything that makes me unqualified, in everything that makes me unqualified. Father, as I connect with your mercy tonight, jump to your feet, shout, Father, as I connect with your mercy tonight, in everything that makes me unqualified, Father, let mercy qualify me in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, somebody. Pray, somebody. Father, let mercy qualify me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let mercy qualify me in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you praying that prayer? Are you praying that prayer? Father, let your mercy qualify me in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your mercy qualify me, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. See, when you are involved in a thing, from today, I am telling you from today, when you are involved in a thing, rules will change for you. I'm not praying, I'm telling you. When, because you are involved in a thing, rules will change for you. And you will see, sit down. Let me give you this one. When I was in secondary school, when I said was about write, writing Waek, the principal now said, it was not days of private school though. In my own secondary school period, I don't think I know of any private school. There may be, maybe in Ekoi, but I don't think I know. I have heard of some that were started maybe in 1960s. All those Adraho and all those international schools. Eh? Now, so the principal now said that from that day, Everybody that will register for a subject must go to the subject teacher. The subject teacher will now evaluate you. Whether you are a good student or not, 
so that you will not go and get F10 <laughs> instead of F9. So that if you are not going to be good for the school, they will tell you to go and change your subjects. So go and find the one that your hand, your hand go feel rich. Ah, and that thing. And I was a very bad student. Very bad. Not, not, not that I was academically sound, but I was a truant. I was a truant. I was more of a school two student than a school one student. And our school has only one school, not school two. There is no school two. But you know every school has school too. All those bad chaps that come to school late, if they come at all, if they come at all, they come, they are at the back, under the tree. I was the class captain there. In fact, principal, principal. Now, we now went to the staff room, all of us. The good, the bad, and the ugly. All of us. Because you had to go. You don't have any excuse to tell your father that you did not write my egg. So you had to take the... You now write your subjects that you want to register. Go to the subject teacher. There was a particular teacher. She was the toughest. See, she had taught empty classes severally. Yes. She comes in, our biology teacher. She comes in. She told you to bring cockroach yesterday. <laughs> you did not bring cockroach. If it's half a child that, br that brought the cockroach, it's that half child that will do the lecture. If all of you did not bring the cockroach, I never brought that kind of a thing. Never. Sitting down in the class alone, self, was the burden to me. Now, you see how good I was. So when you talk about this, your children, say, Pastor, I'm by it here. <laughs> I just laugh. Because these children are born again. In fact, they qualify for they qualify for sainthood. Compared to me. Praise the Lord. Is Pastor encouraging bad deeds? No. Faith commit by hearing. Hearing by the word of God. If God can seek me out from that dungeon, nobody can be lost. Yes, nobody. So, everybody avoided that mama. Because me, I didn't care. I was the only person. Others went to other teachers. I went to her. I put the book paper before her. She knew, she knew me. So she, she went through the drama of bringing out a register. She brought out a register. She saw everything, everything. My name appeared maybe twice in her class. So she took my paper. She wrote a recommendation. I was rejected from that class. So I took it. No plea, no story. I took it away from her. I went to the next teacher. I gave it to him. That one saw what the woman wrote. That one shouted. Say, ha! Did you see this thing? This? I said, I saw it, sir. He said, read it aloud. I read it aloud. All the teachers in the classroom started laughing. He said, you are a very bad boy. Blah, blah, blah. Amongst them, there were teachers who were my friend. <laughs> who used to sleep in my room. In my room. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> to those people, I was a star. <laughs> so, so they said we should leave the, the staff room. This, 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 that, 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 that. Among us, the people that were able to skate through, they were less than half of the class. Sir, the following day, the principal came to the assembly ground. Said, uh, yesterday we decided 
that you from five you should be registering with every teacher blah 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 say but have you reviewed the situation on ground we have decided to cancel it the woman looked at me she could not see anything Even in my badness, mercy spoke for me. In that situation where you are, mercy will speak for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. I say in that situation where you are, mercy will speak for you in the mighty name of Jesus. So one of those teachers very tough person. One day she slapped me. And I thought nothing of it. Because I knew the reason why teacher must slap me. They were slapping me for today. The following day she came and met me on the assembly ground and began to beg me that I should tell her that I have forgiven her. I said, Mama, you have not offended me. She said, just say it. Do you know what happened? God visited her. I declare you candidate of God's mercy from tonight. Ah, you don't know this thing. I say, I declare you from tonight. Candidate of God's mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. I say, I declare you tonight, candidate of God's mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Let mercy speak for you everywhere in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody shout, Father, establish with me from today the covenant of your mercy. That is where we are closing tonight. We are going to continue from there. Tomorrow we talk about covenant of mercy. In the vigil, we continue with mercy. Because this mercy is for two days. Father, establish with me the covenant of your unfailing mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Establish with me, O oh Lord, the covenant of your unfailing mercy. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let's take the hymn quickly so that we can rest. I believe the kitchen should be ready for us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our aim tonight shall be taken in page two. Praise my soul. Praise my soul, the King of We are going to sing it. Praise my soul, the God of heaven. Praise be my dreamer's prayer. Grants of living stuff of heaven.
circumcision I worship God in the spirit I rejoice in Christ Jesus I have no confidence in the flesh I am the true circumcision I worship God in the spirit I rejoice in Christ Jesus I have no confidence in the flesh one two go louder hallelujah 